Well, the thing we all thought was going to happen happened, and Harris announced her presidential campaign uh, earlier today. And I was thinking about doing a stream where we would talk about her positions and on you know her views on issues, but I I stopped myself because there are other topics I think are you know more worth devoting a larger span of time to. So I'll say it like this: she is, um, and I've maintained this position, a person who's maintained a record in the sentence of the last two years th that I, for the most part, agree with, but I find her um, persona, so her public persona of, you know, trying to be, appear to be a progressive, not in line with her characteristics of the past. And you might say to yourself, well, why does it matter that, you know, someone who, let's say, once did not support single payer or anything else you could think of that's progressive, uh, you know, not back that two years ago. Why does that not, why does that matter that it wasn't so long ago that they weren't talking about these things? Because it, it seems like political maneuvering that right before running for president or in the midst of planning to run for president, you decide to now suddenly turn into someone who uh, is not indicative of the record you had in the past. Like I said, she was my attorney general for uh, seven years, didn't prosecute a single banker, took money actually from Trump's treasury secretary, and yet somehow gets uh, held up as some new liberal icon. And, you know, I, I watched C-SPAN earlier today, and there's this person that called in, um, and she starts talking about it. She saw Harris during the uh, the Kavanaugh hearings, and, oh, she looks so articulate, and blah, 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 blah. I said to myself, this is literally the exact same problem I had with the people that were talking about drafting Klobuchar, the people that were defending Pelosi being Speaker. They use these platitudes, these empty, vague, meaningless platitudes to try and defend why they're picking a candidate who they barely know any damn thing about. Like I said, I'm I'm not I wouldn't call myself an enemy of hers or someone that can't stand her, but she I'm indifferent to her at best and apathetic to her seeking higher office at worst. Um but I've I've tried to know something about her record. And it just seems like the supporters of a lot of these Democrats that are jumping in don't even know the person that they're supporting. And look, I'll still give her credit and say I think she's better than Booker, um, you know, because he's anti-free speech with the, you know, being in favor of the BDS boycott bill. Uh, so, you know, being in favor of boycotting companies that boycott Israel, you know, re retribution from your own government. But, you know, that's that's one thing. That's one person. I think she'd probably be better than Trump. But, I mean, there, there's a lot of people who could fill that. So I just, it's one of those things where... <sighs> The only way I see her being able to pull this off, and it's already kind of setting in, is if she keeps this stick up where the Hillary uh, backers decide to go and support her, which they're already doing. And it's going to be the same arguments. Oh, you don't like her. You must be sexist. Oh, you don't like her. You must, you know, there, there has to be something wrong with your brain. You know, you, there, there is no gen genuine criticism of someone who, you know, two years ago couldn't have cared less about anything. That people, uh, you know, that are anti-war or uh, want a Green New Deal would have supported and now suddenly, you know, puts on uh, a, a Senate seat, gets gets to sit in one of those and now says, oh, yes, I'm one of you guys. I'm, I'm part of your team. So I think, I think you know, this is, it's complicated. Um, but I, I do lean pessimistic because of my knowledge of her record. So she'll get more people who don't know anything about her to back her and be happy about this.